Welcome back. Des Moines Center Street is home to the Oak Ridge Apartments and Methodist Medical Center now, but in the mid 1900s, it looked completely different as it was known as the cultural and business hub for the black community. If the nice project community, KCCI's Kayla James takes us back in time for a look at a well beloved neighborhood. So that day, October 5th, was a positive day. It was really, really exciting to, to be a part of it. There were people that I had not seen in many, many, many years. Center Street now is a far cry from several decades ago. This brings back so many memories. There is not time Ruth Ann Gaines goes down Center Street now and doesn't think of what used to be. There was also a pharmacy as we go up this street. Crescent Beauty School was over here, and Mrs. Pauline Humphrey was the owner. And my mother and my aunt used to go there and get their hair done. The buildings on Center Street now all either looking different or non-existent prior to the late 1960s. There's a black community on the east side, black community on the south side, you know. But everyone came to Center Street. Because Center Street back then was more than a street. It was a neighborhood filled with black businesses, culture, and families. But these were the type of houses uh, that we lived in. That Richard Duncan remembers well. I was five years old when I lived on Center Street. I can remember going down with my mom and dad and we'd go to dinner, you know, that once a week at, at one of the restaurants down here. The Billiken Club and Sepia Club, hosting black jazz musicians, restaurants, barbershops, hair salons, churches, and more, all creating lasting memories for those who love the neighborhood like Richard. But you knew everybody. I could come through Center Street and, and folks, people would know me. That's Ted's son. Center Street back then, now a piece of Iowa history. Hopefully that makes us a better museum to be able to tell those stories. Yeah. That many, like the State Historical Society of Iowa, work to keep alive. We have photographs from Robert Patton that he was documenting in the 1920s and 1930s some of the families that were living along the Center Street neighborhood. Those photographs and printed material now line a wall within the State Historical Museum. And it helps you understand the, the breadth of the black people living in central Iowa. State Curator Leo Landis believes the materials play an important role in remembering what Center Street was before construction of I-235 and the city's urban renewal plan displaced homeowners and businesses, something seen in cities across the nation during the mid-1900s. Many of the interstates that were built divided or destroyed uh, the African-American communities. Like the Center Street neighborhood. You know, we don't have that anymore. We don't have that thriving uh, black business district, you know, that, that was once there. Jay Singleton is a board member with the Polk County Housing Trust Fund, an organization that helped make the Center Street marker possible. His family grew up in the neighborhood. To know what they had and what was taken away, uh, you know, I, again, I, I think there was, I would say, some sadness. A type of sadness. I miss it. I really, really miss it. Gaines knows too well. But what you won't find from the 77-year-old is anger. There's no sense in being angry because it's already happened. There's acceptance and a commitment shared by many to keep the story of Center Street alive. That's why I was so happy to be at the marker ceremony because I thought at least people are recognizing that Center Street had some significance. I'll never forget it, you know. I'll never forget it. And probably most of the people that you talk to remember the Center Street kind of atmosphere, the most kind of times that uh, they're gone, but they're not forgotten. In Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.